Hey everybody, just wanted to talk about your lab write-up for this week. So we will write up uh, the data from our visit to Leo Carrillo, State Beach. I'll also be posting videos from Leo Carrillo. So if you uh, missed any of that, um, you should definitely review those videos. Um, even if you attended, you probably might want to review that um, so that you, you're sure you're capturing all the background info. But <clears throat> I just want to note that um, because we didn't get that many um, other uh, limpets in the high intertidal, we, we, we weren't able to go into the low boulder field where more um, diversity exists. I just dropped some of these questions. So the write-up will just be the questions that are not lined out here. So, so you're just going to do this first question. You're going to describe the overall site and then drop down to this one that says make a graph of the density, et cetera. Um, you're going to give me a write-up. And then uh, this, this link here will take you to the shared data sheet, which looks like this, um, for uh, the aspect of the density of limpets, owl limpets at Leo Carrillo over time. You can go ahead and use this column right here, right? So this column, and this is the density here is the number of individuals per person per minute. Um, at, that is one measure of density. And uh, note that some of these are, the, are cons bio rock, which is our target. Some are the boulder field. You don't, you should not include the boulder field in this. We're just focusing on cons bio rock. And so that's through density stuff. Um, the other one, the other prompt asks you to look at the uh, demography, the size of limpets at our site at, at Leo Creo and elsewhere. And so you can use this chunk of the data for that. And it's fine to go ahead and just use the max diameter here. So don't feel like you have to do, um, even though in some cases I have other issues like area, et cetera, you can just go ahead and use the average um, uh, uh, max diameter as opposed to any kind of measure of the total area. Um, as always, make sure you have um, a central tendency and variation plotted. Make sure your graphs are well labeled and all of that good stuff. And then you'll submit this, uh, your write-up in PDF form by Friday. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your week.